Hello everybody and welcome to the video. In today's video, we are going to talk about a scholarship that has come out recently. It's called the Reliance Foundation Post-Graduation Scholarship 2022-2023 to for Life Science. Right. So, uh, we are going to see in detail about the eligibility of the scholarship for how many uh, students will the scholarship be and what is the amount of the scholarship and how should you apply for this particular scholarship. So I'm Dr. Vaishali, Academic Specialist at Biotech. Technica. Biotechnica is a space where we guide you anything and everything regarding your bioscience career. Come, let's explore the topic. So first, this scholarship is uh, up to a value of rupees 6 lakh and it is available for 100 students right for uh, each of them the um, you know the maximum possible scholarship is up to 6 lakhs per uh, student and it is also available for the life science students as well right so first and foremost is uh, so we will see down about what and why the scholarship has been uh, given by reliance so reliance first of all it wants to nurture the world class talent uh, especially in the for the post graduation students and and they want to uh, give a grant for their studies, right? So that is the uh, purpose of this particular grant. So this uh, grant is available for uh, students who are in their first year post-graduation uh, degree, right? And it is available in different uh, programs, degree programs. Starts with artificial intelligence computer science, mathematics and computing, electrical and or electronic engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, renewable and new energy, material science and engineering, as well as for life sciences, right? So these are the different uh, fields from which students can apply. Uh, if you're doing your first year in post-graduation, you can apply for this particular grant and the grant will be up to uh, 6 lakhs uh, for your whole per year for your studies, right? So this uh, particular scholarship features. So let us look at the scholarship features. What are the different uh, conditions and uh, what are the different grants that is being available? So first, firstly, this is for 100 post-graduation scholars, right? And they will be selected on the basis of merit only, right? Uh, and this scholarship is uh, will be given for up to rupees 6 lakhs. So this is over the duration of your degree program. So if at all you are in your first year of post-graduation and, and you get, uh, you're selected for this particular scholarship, then you'll get around 6 lakhs for the rest of your studies, right? So 80% of this funds of the 6 lakhs will be granted at the start of each academic year uh, so that you can use it for your tuition and your direct academic expenses. The rest of the 20%, right? So the rest of the 20% will be granted only upon request. If you need a request for uh, professional development, support your professional development, your indirect academic and personal development expenses, and also if you want to attend any conference and if there are expenses related to that, then that as well, right? So this is how the uh, funds are divided, 80% and 20%. So 80% will be upfront given to you in the start of each academic year. And so it includes for the tuition and your direct academic expenses. However, the remaining 20%, it will be given only uh, after you um, request uh, for any support, whether it's professional development or any indirect academic expenses that you have or your personal development or any conference related expenses, right? So this is how it is divided. Thirdly, the scholars will also benefit from additional engagement. So it's not just the funds that is being given by the Reliance Foundation. You also have um, additional benefits, additional engagement and development activities, such as you can attend talks and workshops uh, of leading global experts or opportunities uh, and to apply for mentorship and internships, volunteering opportunity and the alumni network of Reliance Foundation, right? So these are the additional, um, you know, engagement or additional benefits that you can have through this particular scholarship. Now, apart from that, 
let us look at the application and the selection details yeah application and the selection process so this application will close uh, by the 14th of february 2023 so the last day to apply for this particular scholarship is the 14th of february and there are three different uh, factors or three different things in this particular application one is the eligibility questionnaire so first is the eligibility questionnaire second is the application form and third is the aptitude test so first is the eligibility questionnaire that is um, so you have to first fill in the eligibility questionnaire so there are a few questions that's been asked and you need to fill in and only if you're eligible you will be able to go to the next step right so second is the application form so in application form a few of the details of your personal your academic and your extracurricular uh, details will be asked apart from that you need two letters of references so one that will attest your academic academic capabilities and second that attests your character and your leadership traits right so these are also necessary next is you need also two essays so one essay will be on your personal statement and second is the statement of purpose right and of course the supporting documents for example if you're giving a document about your CGPA or your percentage of marks, then you need supporting documents for all of that. So these are the things that you need to have. That is your, um, you know, personal, uh, your two letters of references, one for your academic cap capability and one for your character. Second uh, is two essays, uh, one which has the personal statement and um, second is the statement of purpose. And of course, the supporting documents and after the application form after you fill all of the application form next is your aptitude test now what does the aptitude test contain so all applicants are uh, required to give this online aptitude test so this particular test uh, will be for a duration of 60 minutes and it will contain 60 multiple choice questions and you will be asked questions from verbal ability analytical lo and logical ability and numerical ability as well right so these will be the different um, topics from which questions will be asked in your aptitude test now after the aptitude test evaluation let us see what is uh, how the evaluation uh, happens so the first level of selection what is the first level of selection is that applications will be evaluated by an expert panel right there'll be an expert panel of industry experts academicians and the leaders in the field second after the first level of uh, selection you will have an interview stage which will be the second level of selection so in the second level of selection you will have an interview the interview uh, you will have interview preparation guidelines will be given or webinars will be conducted for all the candidates whoever or have um, um, got selected from the first level and then the interview will be virtually held by the expert panel right so after the interview the selection will be done so the announcement of scholars so we already saw that up to 100 scholars uh, will be eligible for this particular scholarship and it will be purely on the basis of merit and you will get a email on the same right so that is uh, with respect to the uh, selection that is the evaluation and the selection procedure now let us see what is the eligibility criteria in detail right so yeah so the eligibility uh, criteria it starts from here you need to be a resident of india you need to be an indian citizen and it, this is a post graduate scholarship right so you need to be in the first year of your post graduation and it's important that you should have secured um, 550 to 1000 uh, score in your gate examination or if you've not given your gate examination or if you've not attempted gate examination then you should have scored 7.5 or above in your UG CGPA right so or uh, you can convert it into personalized uh, uh, normalized percentage and then you can uh, it has to be above uh, 7.5 right so convert your percentage into cgpa and it has to be about 7.5 so this is the eligibility criteria first if at all you've given your gate examination then you should have scored somewhere between 550 to 1000 but if you've not attempted for gate then you should have scored 7.5 or above this is the first eligibility criteria secondly what are the programs um 
under which if you are you can apply for this particular um, you know scholarship we already talked about it it's computer science uh, ai mathematics and computing electrical or electronic engineering chemical engineering mechanical renewable and new energy material science and engineering and of course the life sciences so even life sciences post graduate students can apply for this particular scholarship right so now let us see what um, can, what is uh, you know there in this particular scholarship the page so if you um, come to the link below that's given in the description box go to the biotechnica page and you will get this particular um, article and in this article you have to click uh, you have the link here to apply for this particular scholarship so once you click here you'll be redirected to this particular page where uh, they talk about all of the uh, in detail about this scholarship that we've already seen correct so here you need to apply uh, yeah, you need to click here to apply. So once you click here, there, there are two questions uh, that will be asked. This is your eligibility criteria. The first one that we saw, the, is, which is your eligibility criteria. So here, uh, if you've written GATE, then you will have to give the score in GATE. Right, you need to select the degree that you're doing. That is uh, whether you're doing MS, uh, Masters by Science by Research or MSc, MTech, right? Or master so all of these degree type there is a drop down menu from which you, you must select and then you need to select the degree program as well from this drop down menu there are various degree programs including all of the life science programs as well if I have to show you see these are the life science programs that is there right so it starts from here bio biochemical engineering biochemistry bioengineering bioethics bioinformatics biomechanical biomedical right so all of these are there so you need to select uh, whichever degree that you're doing and uh, once you're done then you need to also select the degree duration that is for how many years is your post graduation from the drop down menu then you need to give your personal details your name your email id your mobile number and you need to also select your district and you need to submit this form so this is your eligibility form so once you uh, submit this uh, particular form then only you will be uh, you'll be given your login details through your email uh, it will be sent to your email and then you can go ahead and apply for this particular scholarship right so if at all you've not given your gate then you can select cgpa but you should make sure that you have not taken the gate examination there's a pop-up that asks you if you've not taken the gate examination and if you if you've really not taken it then press ok and then the cgpa will be selected and then you can enter your ug cgpa out of 10 right so it is important that it has to be more than 7.5 Right, so this is uh, with respect to the Reliance Foundation post graduation scholarship. So, the last date for applying for this particular scholarship is 14th of February. So, if at all you're thinking of applying, then hurry up and get your references, get your essays ready, get all the personal documents and everything ready, and then apply for this particular scholarship. Thank you so much, and see you all until next video.